We're doing a poll on that one, Law? Yeah, it's up on uh, richeisenshow.com. You can vote. Wouldn't it tell them the nominees, uh, Brockman? Yeah, Stone Cold, The Undertaker, The Rock, Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels. I left off the million-dollar man. Oh, you left man. off DiBiase? Yeah, Ugh. no one knows. No one cares Ted about DiBiase. the million No one knows though. the million-dollar man. Shame the devil if no one knows who he is. Everybody's he... got a price, you know, Dave. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're who's, here, right? Who, who's your favorite? That's right. yeah. Everybody's got a price. Jim, of all time, who's your favorite? I know you're close to these guys. Do you have a favorite? Are you allowed to have a favorite? Sure, I'm a fan. You know, I'm still I'm unabashedly a fan of uh, pro wrestling and all other sports and entertainment. Uh, Austin is my guy because we became great friends, and uh, he was the guy that he had, he became the perfect uh, uh, fan favorite to Vince McMahon's perfect villain. The Austin McMahon era was amazing. I think those guys, along with other, a lot of other really hardworking people, uh, created a 160 million dollar IPO that. Uh, launched the WWE into a publicly traded company, which is doing very well right now with their digital network and all those things. So Austin kind of was a point guy, but he had a lot of good teammates with him, but he would be the number one guy in my book. Well, I always loved Rowdy Roddy Piper, of course. Yeah. Piper's pit, so many seminal moments in the history of wrestling went down there. That's when uh, the giant turned on the Hulkster. I still am not over that one emotionally. I always wondered this, though, when Piper's in the conversation, I think of his wingman, Cowboy Bob Orton, do you know medically? I know you're not a doctor, Jim, but you no, know. No, but I played one on television. Did you? Okay, because then maybe you can't help me out with this. Yes. He had that broken forearm oh. for like for like 12 oh. years, it but was... the cast didn't even like cover his hand. It was just like he had that cast on forever. That never healed up. Well, first of all, Dave, you're really overthinking this. You're really overthinking this because you just don't know the intricacies of an athletic arm break. Yeah, maybe that's just I'm not and at I that level. Maybe he right? rebroke it several times, but he seemed to always find a use for it. Mm -hmm. When the referee's back was turned, it was very coincidental. That was strange <laughs> that he did it. Somehow the his bouts did off, and now that you mentioned that, I I, rec yeah. I realize that. Yeah, he did use that thing a lot as a weapon. I signed his son, Randy Orton, to a contract at WWE in my best recru recruiting class. Randy Orton, John Cena, Brock Lesnar, uh, uh, Dave Batista, and Shelton Benjamin. There were, I had five guys in that one class that all became Wow. Big time stars. Yeah, guys, some of those guys have broken out five beyond stars, the world. Five star guys. Yeah, awesome. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.